Is this the start of a horror movie? No, but this little piece of tape might just be one of the most powerful tools for your health. It can help reduce hypertension, lower your blood pressure, cut your risk of getting dementia, reduce sleep apnea instances, and finally get you the best night's sleep you have had in years, all with this little piece of tape. In today's 10 minute memory hack, we're gonna talk about the power of breath work and breathing. Something so basic, so automatic, often it goes overlooked. Modern science is discovering just how critical the way we breathe is to our health. It turns out how we breathe has a ripple effect across every single system in our body, especially our cognitive health and memory. Today, you're gonna learn that how you breathe does matter. Hi, I'm Julia Lundstrom, neuroscience and brain health educator. Subscribe now to get more 10 minute memory hacks every single week. So breathing is something that we all do every day. In fact, if you don't breathe, you will die in a matter of minutes. But we take for granted that our bodies naturally know how to breathe and that we never have to think about it. But in fact, breathing correctly is one of the best things you can do for your health. So let's dive right in. We've all seen those old people sitting in wheelchairs at nursing homes, hospice. They're staring out the window. And what do they all have in common? They're breathing out of their mouths, panting, <sighs> right? When we breathe through our nose, we are using a built-in filtration system that keeps harmful particles from reaching our lungs. And this has huge health implications. Research shows that nasal breathing warms and humidifies the air, which reduces respiratory strain and protects the lungs. Nose breathing helps release nitric oxide. And according to a study published by the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine, nitric oxide plays a critical role in increasing blood flow and oxygen delivery throughout the body. This means that nasal breathing, this thing right here, can help lower your blood pressure and improve overall circulation. Both are key factors for brain health. In one of my most recommended books called Breathe by James Nestor, he talks about how as humans, we have the worst breathing habits of any animal in the animal kingdom. So many people have deviated septums, sinus issues, stuffed up noses where they just can't breathe through their nose, and it's causing a ton of issues. In fact, in this book, he talks about how he actually plugged his nose for good for 10 days, and it increased his episodes of sleep apnea, basically not breathing while you're sleeping, dying a little bit every single time, increased it fourfold in just the first night alone by breathing only through his mouth. He went from snoring a couple minutes a night to within three days in the experiment, he was snoring four hours a night from the forced mouth breathing. But so many of us don't realize how nose breathing can trigger different hormones to flood our bodies, how it can lower our blood pressure, how it monitors your heart rate. So it's this incredible organ on your face that orchestrates so many functions in our body to keep us balanced. Breathing impacts more than just our cardiovascular system. It has direct effects on your brain. In fact, studies show that deep regulated nasal breathing improves your memory, your focus, and your cognitive function. When we breathe through the nose, nitric oxide is produced in the nasal passages and it increases blood flow to the brain and it, that enhances its oxygen supply and boosts your cognitive function. Researchers at Northwestern University found that breathing through the nose rather than the mouth actually enhances the encoding of memory. That means that nose breathing can improve our ability to recall memories by optimizing how the brain processes information. For those who prioritize memory and cognitive function, which is probably you since you're here, nasal breathing becomes essential. So let's get back to this little piece of tape and what it can do for you. We use it for mouth taping, just like I had. 
It may sound strange. It is one of the easiest hacks to ensure you breathe through your nose at night, promoting a more restful, uninterrupted sleep. So how does this work and why is it so powerful? When we mouth breathe during sleep, it can lead to snoring and sleep apnea and poor oxygenation, all of which can interrupt sleep quality and affect memory consolidation. Your memory is sticking, so you remember something the next day. According to the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine, mouth breathing is often associated with disruptive sleep patterns and a reduced quality of REM sleep, the phase where memory processing and restoration occurs. By encouraging nasal breathing through mouth taping, you're supporting your body's natural ability to fully rest and recuperate and improve your brain function. A better night's sleep supports mental clarity, emotional regulation, and energy levels. We all know this, right? And you don't need more than just that little piece of tape. I like to use that little surgical tape that I just had. It's great. It's comfortable. It's breathable if you need to breathe out the side of your mouth. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt when you peel it off. You don't need much more than that. Now, I want to touch on an often overlooked aspect of breathing. Chewing. While chewing may not seem directly related to breathing, it has a surprising impact on how we breathe and how even our face develops. Chewing tough natural foods, like carrots, maybe we should all eat a couple of carrots every day, it strengthens your jaw muscles and encourages better sinus development, promoting nasal airflow. Our ancestors ate hard, fibrous foods that required significant chewing, up to four hours of chewing a day. This contributed to wider jaws, healthier teeth, healthier alignment in your teeth, and critically opening up your nasal passages that facilitate easy nose breathing. In contrast, modern diets of these soft processed foods contribute to weaker jaw muscles and narrow airways. And a lot of people don't stop to chew more than just a few times a bite these days. A study in the Journal of Oral Facial Pain and Headache found that individuals who regularly chewed tougher foods longer exhibited better airway alignment and facial structure, making nose breathing easier. So reintroducing regular chewing exercises or incorporating harder foods into our diet can be a really simple, effective way to support nasal breathing. And it can change in a matter of months. In the book Breath, James describes one animal study where they plugged up monkeys' noses for six months and their facial features dramatically changed in just the six months, getting more elongated and completely obliterating their sinus passages. After they took out the nasal obstructions, their faces went back to being healthy and wide in just six months. Another big one when it comes to breathing is lung capacity. As we age, lung capacity tends to decrease, which can directly impact our overall health and longevity. Reducing lung capacity means less oxygen is delivered to your brain, and studies show that chronic oxygen deprivation can contribute to cognitive decline. To combat this, practice lung expanding exercises such as deep breathing or diaphragmatic breathing. It can help strengthen the lungs and improve your endurance. In fact, the greatest predictor of life and health span is not genetics, it's not diet, it's not exercise, it's lung capacity. Dr. Dean Schraffnagel, a pulmonologist, emphasizes that expanding lung capacity through breathing exercises can significantly reduce the risks of chronic diseases, including dementia. When you expand your lung capacity, you're essentially building up a larger reserve of oxygen, which benefits every organ in your body, especially the brain. The benefits of nasal breathing and breath work extend far beyond brain health. Breathing correctly reduces stress hormones like cortisol, lowers inflammation, and enhances immune function, all of which contribute to a healthier, longer life. By focusing on proper breathing, we are creating an environment where the body and the mind can thrive free from chronic stress with improved metabolic function. Breathwork also creates a calming effect that can significantly improve our emotional health. By training ourselves to breathe properly, we build resilience. 
not just in our physical bodies, but in our mental and emotional health as well. So let's talk about practical ways to make nasal breathing a daily habit. Start with mouth taping at night. Give mouth taping a try to try to encourage nasal breathing during sleep. Many people report fewer instances of dry mouth, snoring, and better sleep quality with this simple change even going to the restroom less often. Now, to start with, maybe you just wanna try it for 10 minutes in the evening and work your way up. I know it can be a little aggravating at first until you get used to it, so just take it in small bites when it comes to taping your mouth at night. Next, you wanna incorporate chewing exercises. Challenge yourself to eat harder natural foods that require chewing, like carrots. This simple habit really helps to maintain your facial structure and your sinus health and encourages natural nasal breathing. Do daily breathwork routines. Spend five to 10 minutes daily practicing exercises like diaphragmatic or box breathing. This will increase your lung capacity. Let's all just take a deep breath right now. <sighs> there, we increased our lung capacity, we promoted oxygen flow, and we supported our mental clarity. Practice nose breathing during exercise. This one's a little bit tricky. The next time you go out for a walk or do a workout, consciously try to breathe through your nose. It might be really challenging at first, but over time it becomes second nature and you'll experience incredible benefits. I found that if I start my workout or my walk breathing through my nose, I can continue much, much longer into the workout than if I remember midway through and try to start breathing through my nose. It never, ever happens. So start the workout breathing through your nose, see how long you get. And over time, you may be able to get through a whole workout by breathing through your nose. All right, so there you have it. The power of proper breathing and nasal breathing in particular is truly remarkable. With just a few simple changes like mouth taping, incorporating tough foods, and practicing breath work, you can profoundly impact your health, cognitive clarity, and your memory. So take a moment right now, try a deep breath in through your nose, let it feel your lungs, feel the calm it brings, and remember that every breath is an opportunity to nourish your body and your mind. If you're looking for more ways to improve your memory and overall health, be sure to like this video and subscribe and try our 10 minute memory hacks each day. Thanks for watching and remember, breathe well, live well.